Yeah, they got Vulpixes <clears throat> here instead. Yeah, Vulpixes. V oh, um, Pokemon fact, because I'm full of them, because I love this series. The plural for every Pokemon is their name, singular. So, you have one Vulpix, you have ten Vulpix. And this has been Pokemon Fact. <laughs> yeah, get, get ready for a lot of them. Because, get, get facted. Yeah, get facted. Hey everyone, welcome back to Crazy Play. My name is Crunchywell, and I am here with... My name's Soul. We're playing Pokemon. Some crazy, playing, <laughs> playing crazy. Uh, yes. We are playing Pokemon F Leaf Green. <laughs> yeah. So what's cool about Leaf Green is it's the Gen One Pokemon, Red and Blue, but it has third gen improvements to the battle system. It's awesome. That's for true. Yep. So if you're familiar with Pokemon, you know that these are incredibly fun to watch, <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna deliver. We have some pretty cool stipulations in stock for what we're doing. So I like how, uh, real quick, I like how Professor Oak's doing his magic trick. He just held out his hand, a Pokeball appeared and exploded, and a creature <laughs> came out, and then it went away. He's like, and, like he got sucked it back in, and then it exploded again. He's like, <laughs> yeah, he's like, this is a Pokemon. And I'm pretty sure he has all timers. <laughs> Old timers. Old timers. Yeah, because he can't remember shit. He yeah. asked if you were a boy or a girl. He just um, said the word babies too. I never knew he said that. <laughs> yeah, we've been ri we've been rivals, crazy and um, Gary. <laughs> yeah, from the cartoon show. It's actually uh, blue or green, depending on the English or Japanese. I guess we can't really oh, think of a good name. Yeah, Gary's fine. <clears throat> when you look at him, that's kind of what I, that's kind of what you think, right? Because yeah, and he's more or less like y this character. You're your own person, but Gary is Professor Oak's grandson. So God, turn that text speed yeah. fast, please. So we might as well change the sound to stereo as well. Oh yeah! All right. Um, so those are pretty much the only things we're gonna change. We can change this, but we're just gonna play the game as How it's meant to be played. as default as possible. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, the goal of this playthrough Ooh. is to uh, beat the Elite Four, pretty much. Um, I talked with everybody on our Crazy Play team, and they all had a Pokemon request in mind to put on, to the, on our team. So, we have those. They will be announced as we run into them. Secret. Secret. The only one I'm going to announce right away, because we had some issues, uh, is Arcanine. Since this is Leaf Green. We can't get a Growlithe in it, so we're going to trade it over at some point. Yeah, they got Vulpixes <clears throat> here instead. Yeah, Vulpixes. V oh, um, Pokemon fact, because I'm full of them, because I love this series. The plural for every Pokemon is their name, singular. So, you have one Vulpix, you have ten Vulpix. And this has been Pokemon Fact. <laughs> yeah, get, get ready for a lot of them. Get, because, get facted. Yeah, get facted. So that's also going to kind of be the nature of this playthrough. We're just going to be chilling out, playing some Pokemon, and... Let's see what else Professor Oak forgets. Gary's annoyed with his grandfather. He calls him Gramps. He's like, Gary? What? Are... Huh? Wait, let me think. Like, I just drug you from the, the weeds. Oh, that's... I told you to be here. Like, oh yeah. Like, this is... If he's that... This is dangerous. <laughs> if he's that forgetful. <laughs> yeah. Are all scientists this forgetful? Like, he's, he's probably got, a, like, a Bunsen burner going in the back somewhere. It's about to overflow and catch his office on fire. <laughs> uh, so, um, we're picking Squirtle. Any reason in particular? Um, he's, like, the best all-round choice. And he's good for beginning because the first gym is a rock gym. Mm -hmm. Um... And I can't think of any other water Pokemon I want besides Blastoise. It's true. Um, water Maybe Gyarados, but he's really hard to get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's something that a lot of people do as well. They'll try and get uh, Charmander to do Charizard. In this gen, they help you out a lot, because at level 13, Charmander learns Metal Claw. Nice. You could deal with Brock a lot easier that way. In uh, red and blue for the Game Boy... Wait, it's, crazy! It's super tough, yeah. He wants to fight. But he doesn't know. Oh, uh, did look you... how swagalicious he is. <laughs> Purple pants. <laughs> yeah. He's like, 
Here's this Pokemon Cloud that, I, that I just counterpicked you with. Oh, for Pete's sake. Yeah, that's the proper noun. Yeah, that's something we say when we want others to understand me. I'd yeah. like to say Pete's sake. Pete's sake. <laughs> um, so this is new to Fire Red Leaf Green, telling you how to battle. We're going to tackle it to death. Yeah, we're going to ignore tail it. Um, because what I want... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how you beat people. You beat them. You beat the HP out of them. So we're looking for critical hits. Hey. Brow me. Uh, er, at yeah. least he wasted a turn. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Wow. You must be match speed. Uh, speed time? Yeah. That's how that goes. Which is weird. We must have uh, got a slow squirtle or something. Or maybe use a fast Bulbasaur? Um, <laughs> I think I'm alright. Yeah, I'm alright. Burn out, Luz. Yeah, see... Did he crit you? Nope. No no crits here. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. So, you just witnessed the all-tackle situation in the in the battle it's against like Gary. like hit for hit. Yeah. So, here's your stats. Blah, blah, blah. Alright. Just imagine commanding your animal to do that with another animal. It's... Ram it till one of you passes out. <laughs> it's... You're building bonds of friendship and team building and community. This could be crazy too. Like all the all the the uh, Professor Oak's aides and everybody all gather around, like start cheering. Yeah, woo! <laughs> Beat his ass. Yeah. Just turns into a bad gambling situation. I win. Yeah. Uh, so our Pokemon is already at full health. So we're on our way to Viridian City. Where did the sign girl go? Oh, <laughs> oh! so um, there's this girl at the very beginning of... She wasn't there when you walked up into the weeds. Yeah. Maybe she'll be there when you come back and leave. Okay, so in Fire Red, as far as we know, there's a girl who pretends to be a sign with trainer tips on it, and she mysteriously wasn't there. Maybe it's a leaf green thing. Well, the full story is we were originally going to play Fire Red, I did not own Fire Red for some reason. Or yeah. I did own it at one time, but it was stolen from me. But anyway, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I bought a new copy online, 15 bucks, thought it was a good deal, no complaints on the reviews or anything, and he had a decent amount of uh, reviews. Was this eBay? Yeah. Alright. And so I was like, alright, that's a good deal. And then I bought it, and I got it. And I started playing it, and I noticed some nuanced, subtle differences. <laughs> uh, the main one being that every time you start a game, it says loading previous save file. And I was like, huh, I wonder what that means. But it worked. And then I took it out one time, and I actually looked at the case, the, the sticker on the label, and the font is different on some of the things. Noticeably. Yeah, like noticeably different. Like the word Nintendo and the E rating on the ERSRB. So I was like, great, I got a bootleg. And I kind of <laughs> knew that something was kind of weird when the plastic, the plastic is kind of flimsy, flimsier. But I wasn't too upset because the game worked. I played it like halfway through. I got half the gym badges. So I was like, okay, cool. We can use this for our crazy play. So we were just doing that today and we got to about when we're about to leave. We got the Pokeballs from Professor Oak after yeah. we delivered the parcel. And we decided to save and it just freezes anytime you try to save. But it only does it on my Retron 5. It wasn't doing that on Game Boy Advance. Yeah, so, so lesson learned. Learn, learn from our mistakes. Be very thorough in your research for um, Pokemon games because people like to bootleg them. And it's really hard because when you're buying stuff online and you ask them if it's a bootleg, they're going to tell you, no, it's legit working. <laughs> yeah, it works. And it, on, on the thing, it never said anywhere about it being a bootleg or a copy. It just said, tested working like a new condition. And technically that's true. They just omitted the fact that it was a bootleg. <laughs> so... Yeah, so that's the situation we're in. Long story short, uh, all that to say, we're playing Leaf Green, and... And the reason why I wanted to play Fire Red is to get my favorite Pokemon, Arcanine, on there, so that's why we're gonna do a trade over on that. Yeah, but I get to use one of my favorite Pokemon in Leaf Green. <laughs> yeah, all, all gonna be secrets until we actually get the Pokemon. Yeah. But each member of our team, crazy, 
or whatever you want to call it, has uh, elected a Pokemon. Yep, and we're going to take him as far as they can go. The only problem uh, what we ran into is that we don't have a flying Pokemon. Yeah, the thing about Pokemon is uh, utility is the key for any team, and sometimes you just got to adapt to the, the challenges that the game throws at you. So, no, I challenge anyone to make a team that is flawless and perfect. I don't think you can do that in this game. <laughs> so Gary gets swanky ass music. Yeah, he gets his own theme song. I don't have a theme song, as far That's as I know. That's why I say he's swagalicious. <laughs> uh, crazy and Gary. Yeah. What is that? What is that device over to the left with the red on it? That is like a cloning machine or something. So I think that's from the cartoon show. That's actually where the Pokeballs uh, used to be. I think this thing comes out and the glass comes out, and um, you pick up a Pokemon out of this these glass case with divots in them with Pokeballs in them. Remember? It's just for storing them? It doesn't yeah, do anything? As far as I know, I mean, the technology in Pokemon kind of evades me. What if you go try to talk to it? It'll probably just say, I don't know what the hell this thing is. <laughs> I'm a 12-year-old. Yeah, so we're going to record all the information on all the Pokemon in the world because Professor Oak is too old to do it himself. He waited too long or something. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, look at his PC back there. He's using a CRT monitor. <laughs> yeah. Well, this game was made in 1996. Which is another thing. Um, one of the reasons. That <laughs> That's a funny sentence. I'll, I'll tell her not to lend you one. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I said crazy. <laughs> yeah. Don't bother coming around to my place. It's funny using your name as not a, a noun word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Called it. What could this be? Better mess around with it. Better not fiddle with it. Oh, don't you? Oh, never mind. That's in a different Pokemon game, I think. Gold and silver, you talk to the aide and he gives you more stuff. Five more Pokeballs, and the other one gives you the one on the other side gives you five potions. Maybe Pretty sure it's in uh, silver and gold. Maybe that is in silver and gold. It's not in this one. Silver and gold is the Pokemon I played the least. I played red and gold the most. I've beaten them multiple times. Bloop. So we have to go back. We already delivered the parcel, right? Yeah, we're So we can start catching shit. Yes. You didn't heal. That's... Alright, I think. Yeah, get a speed drop! He's like, no. So next on the agenda, we're going to be catching Pokemon in order to fill out the Pokedex and sort of flush out our team so that we have some offensive options. I'm not going to catch this Pidgey, however. You going to die! Are you going to catch a Pidgey at some point? I'm going to catch a male Pidgey. Oh, okay. Because I was thinking we could still, like, even Pokemon we're not going to use, still attempt to catch them. Yeah. We need to do that because some stuff in the game requires you to have a certain number of Pokemon logged in the Pokedex. That's how you get Flash. Oh, yeah, true. So we got to catch some Pokemon. We're not necessarily going to use them. But if the occasion calls for it, you better know. You better be damn sure we're going to use them. Pokemon. Hey, there's the sign girl. Bottom left. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, that's that's the reason why I went off the tangent on the fire red. Because we got this far, and about right here is where she was just standing, and she was saying, I'm pretending to be a trainer tip sign. Yeah. And then um, she gives you a trainer tip, and the, and the tip is to look at signs. <laughs> so I'm assuming that's only in fire red. That's really fucking weird. Yeah. We're catching this Pidgey. This is the first Pokemon we're going to catch. Maybe. Let's do it. We're going to run out of balls. <laughs> No, we have five, and it's level two. Like, realistically, I could probably catch this right now. And so if I get a low damage roll, we'll be just fine. Gonna crit. All right. Pidgey? Well, uh, in this game, do you still get the XP after you catch it? Nope. Oh. That's a black and white uh, Pokemon innovation. Amazing innovation. Yeah. <laughs> I think like it's... You're trying to fight a legendary for hours? <laughs> um, I... I think it's black and white. I know it's an X and Y. Yeah, I know for a fact it's an X and Y. Look at that Pidgey. He's like, sup? Yeah. <clears throat> he's gonna be hard, if we need to use him, he's gonna be hard to level up since he's level 2. Well, the thing about Pidgey is, every Pokemon has their own rate at which they accumulate experience. Which seems really weird, but... This Pidgey's fast? Pidgey's like a fast grower. Nice. <laughs> 
Uh, this is level 4 Rattata, welcome to the team. <laughs> I'm a grower, not a shower. Or a shower, not a grower. Or a grower and a shower. What the hell are you talking about? I don't know, probably a penis joke. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I can't even... Penicular. Yeah, pen, penis. Penile. Penile. Bubble or tackle? Uh, I don't know. Do tackle. You're, You're the... Home. You're the master. <laughs> oh yeah, to be a master. So, sure, I know a lot about Pokemon, uh, but the, I try to keep it humble. I don't know everything about Pokemon, and that's one of the reasons I like to go back and play the game so so much, so frequently. I feel like I learn something new every time. You're a master compared to the rest of us. Boo! It's <laughs> seven pounds! <laughs> seven pound rat! <laughs> Bites anything when it attacks. Uh, complete sentences, Pokedex. If it's a common sight in many places, it's an infestation. You can think about it like that. Yum! Our team! Look at our- Oh, actually, uh, let's check out uh, nature for Squirtle. It is gentle. Is that good? Look at him, he wants a hug. I think gentle's a neutral nature. Like, love me! Well, that's good. I don't think gentle does anything. Could be wrong. It might be a, a defense thing, which is fine, because Squirtle, Squirtle's great at He's all about that D. Yeah, he's great at everything. So how long did you want to keep these episodes? Uh, this is probably a good spot right here. Because right. <clears throat> the thing about Pokemon is, 10 minutes, you can only get so much accomplished. And that's the length, the general length of videos that you keep, right? Yeah. Alright. Well, it depends on what the accomplishment is. We got, pretty, got a pretty good amount accomplished already right now, so... This might be a good place to stop before we uh, continue on any further. Alright, um, the last thing I want to do is go on this gigantic windy path for this. We really need some running shoes. <laughs> one for of, fuck's sakes. One of the reasons that Crunchy Whale elected to play Fire Red and Leaf Green is without the bike, you move at this speed in red and blue for hours. <sighs> yeah. And after Brock, you get some running shoes. The originals are pretty nostalgic, though. Yeah, they're they're my favorite of all the games. Red and blue. So we're gonna we're gonna amble around in these bushes we're for gonna, a little bit. We're gonna um, what's the word? Fondle the grass. Yes. Go fondle this grass right here that's, for I don't know what. That's probably the right word for we're it. We're trying to fondle out of it. Experience and certain Pokemon. Oh, okay. Uh, to fill out the Pokedex and make our team better. We'll do it to it. So we're gonna, I guess, grind a little bit, but you guys don't really need to see that. So next episode will be bigger and faster and stronger and <laughs> and more daft. So yeah, so we'll see you next time. Stay crazy. Bubble. I was this close. Everything right here would be insanely hot. Yeah, you'd be sweating a little bit. Ooh, <laughs> forest mine. It's kind of interesting, you're going between fighting uh, guys with guns and ninjas, you get the whole gamut. And aliens. <laughs> hey guys, like, Were there aliens? Yeah. Like, well, the, the, the brains? brains? Those are like brains? Uh, bio freaks. Those are B.O.W.s. Yeah. Biologicals of war. Let's get Chris Redfield in here. But not 